Hi, today we try to learn a concept of number system in geometry. You have a question, please read the question. We will try to learn the concept and apply the concept in the given question. Question is in front of you, please pause the video and read the question. I hope you have read the question. The question has all about two river polygon under a circle. So we have a circle, we are drawing the first polygon, then we draw the next polygon and try to understand. Okay. Take this is the first line of the polygon. We are drawing a polygon of the same lines. Another line, another line. See, this is the M sided polygon. The black color polygon has the M sided. So I'm writing this polygon has number of sides or the number of vertices is M. Okay. This is my center of the circle. So first, if you have a polygon and we have to find the common vertices, so we can think about the central angle. The angle traced by the one side is known as or termed as central angle. What would be the value of central angle if we have M sided figure? The total angle at the center is nothing but 360 degree. So the 360 degree is traced by the M sided. So one side make an angle of 360 by M. So can we say? Uh, this angle is nothing but 360 by M. So angle traced by the M sided figure is 360 degree by M. So our central angle from the east side is 360 by M. Okay, it's fine. Take another polygon with the number of side should be N. The blue line has N sided river polygon. Since the blue line has n side or the n vertices so its central angle should be 360 by n and the point a is the first common vertex can you say so the central angle by the blue line is 360 upon n let's work on this figure we know the central angle by the m sided figure means black figure is 360 by m and the central angle by the blue figure lines is nothing but 360 by n. Since point A is a common point, so the first angle by the black regular polygon is 360 by m and for the blue is 360 by n. So after which angle we get a common vertex? If we are looking for the common vertex, so we are looking for the multiple of 360 by n into some quantity and the multiple of 360 by m into some quantity for the common vertex again the central angle trashed by the post figure should be the lcm of the given data so the first common angle will get lcm of 360 upon m and 360 upon n because it's each time we are getting a multiple of 360 upon m from the reference line and for the same we are getting the blue lines and the LCM formula for a fraction is nothing but the LCM of numerator is 360 and HCF of denominator ok assume some point on a circle we are getting a common vertex where the black and blue should be same say the point B has a second common vertex. We are making a new regular polygon with a common vertices. With the central angle is 360 upon HCF of M and N. Can you see? Just we reverse the formula since we have a central angle which is 360 upon HCF into M and N for a new polygon with a common vertices. So the number of common vertices with a central angle of this is nothing but number of common vertices 360 upon the central angle is nothing but HCF of M and N. I hope it is fine. Means if we have a two polygon 
inscribed within a circle having some sides of the vertices given so the common vertices if they have is nothing but the hcf of the given vertices or the side or its factors if it is possible hope it is fine the funda we need is we find the central angle we find the lcm of the central angles because at lcm they will give a common vertices and after finding the central angles this is the central angle of the new regular polygon created by the common vertices and the number of common vertices is what 360 upon the central angle and here the central angle is nothing but the 360 upon the hcf of m and n finally calculated the number of sides is 360 upon the central angle 360 cancel out we left with the only hcf of m and n so this is the direct formula for your question you have a data in the question the data in your question says the vertices of the first regular polygon is 959 and the total number of sides is 1781 in a regular polygon the vertices and the sides are the same so we have the value of m and n is 959 and the value of n is 1781 so the common vertices we will get we get the hcf of 959 and 1781 which is easy to calculate the hcf of these two quantity is 137 so can you say the 137 would be the number of common vertices for these two polygons and we have to find the digital sum and the digital sum of 1 3 is nothing but 2 hope it is fine if you have any doubt please ping me okay thanks